<laughs> Let's go to Diane from El Paso, Texas. Watches us on TV also. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What's going uh, on? Well, my question is, um, uh, let me give you a little detail on my situation. Okay. Um, November the 28th, uh, 2008, I lost two daughters and a granddaughter in a car accident. Oh. Rollover. Oh, oh, so my sorry. Goodness. Wow. Yes. So and, sorry. Uh, wow. Thank you. It is hard. Oh. Hmm. So mm. hard. My youngest daughter left three children, and the daddy is in the Army. They've never gone to counseling. They need counseling, and that's my question. Is there anything I can do to help them get that counseling? Okay. Well, I, mm. I, we f so feel for mm. what you've been through. What a horrific loss. And, and, it's, and it's their mom was one of your daughters you lost? Yes. Okay. All right, we'll give you some help right after this. We're back. Steve Arterburn here. We're talking with Diane, watches us on television, and just a terrific loss of um, two daughters and um, grandchild. Of yeah. The, yeah. So uh, how old are these grandchildren? Uh, now they are nine, seven, and five at the time of the accident. They were uh, seven, five, and three. Yeah. Now the oldest one is the one that uh, told the – state police who everybody was he's the one that had a broken leg oh my. but um he's the one that told the police everybody who everybody was his, he couldn't see his sister anywhere so he told them they need to find my sister i don't see her wow he's gone, he's gone through a lot he saw his mommy dead in the car wow his aunt was mm. thrown and she had half her head chopped off and all right let me ask you this do mm. you have the money to pay for them to have counseling Hey, you hey if the dad is in the army, Tricare will pay for that. I know, but he won't. He won't. He I won't take why. them. He won't take them. No. Why? What does the, he say? The schools have asked him. The teachers have asked him. The <sighs> counselors at school have asked him to take them. But uh, what's his reason? He was very abusive to my daughter. They saw a lot. Physically abusive to your daughter. Yes. So he doesn't want that revealed. Uh, probably not. Well, this is this is uh, Diane. The truth is, um, if he was physically abusive to your daughter, um, they need to know about that. I mean, it's not reportable, but you need to get those kids help. There's there's something of neglect in there. If well, he's and, and they could be he. Well, he is abusing the children by not getting them the yeah, help they it, need. It's neglect. It's and similar if he if they had cancer and you were refusing treatment for the cancer for whatever reason. Uh, I would talk with the teachers about what can we do to intervene for these yeah, children. Teachers and the counselors, because this is this is trauma. I mean, they. They need to have that trauma treated. If they don't, it's going to get worse. Oh, especially that oldest one. My sex with yeah. what he went through. Mm -hmm. So I would align yourself with those therapists, school psychologists, teachers. Yeah, I would go talk to the principal of yeah. the school or one of the schools, especially the school of the oldest one, and I would I would just lay this out that here's the here's the problem. Here's what every here the teachers here think there's a need. I have a need. What could you do to help me? And, you know, it, it, it may be may filing a report it, right. to it just get the county calling. involved. And because if, the, if the school does that, it'll be a lot better than if she does yeah, that. Of course, yeah, of course. So get somebody at the school to file a report that these Can kids are being neglected. You think that that is a possibility, Diane? Well, what, uh, I've even spoke to a police lady, and uh, she told me that she had a friend that's a, uh, a person with uh, abuse, uh, works for abuse, abusive mm -hmm. uh, yeah. place. Anyway, she said that they can go in and they can check, but what ha will happen, will it will be turned over to um, the Army, and the Army usually they don't do anything. Well, they, they, mm. they might not, but you can't not do anything just because of something they might not do. Uh -huh. That doesn't make any sense, but it does in my mind that you – you, you know, even if they, they usually don't, they might in this case. I yeah. think that's how you fight for your grandkids. Mm -hmm. 
And I really believe the key is setting an appointment with the school principal. If, it, if they live in a different area, then make a phone call to that principal. No, go okay. visit. Uh, make yeah. the trip uh, and go visit. Yeah, I think that's. Are you in the same area, Diane? As yes, right now we are. Uh, well, go see yeah. that that principal and say, mm -hmm. "I need your help. These children need your help. You got into this education line of work to help children, and here's how you could help." The teachers are telling me these kids need counseling. I believe they need it, and my son was abusive. Son-in-law. I mean, son-in-law was abusive, and so he doesn't want anybody to find out. And now yeah. the kids aren't getting the help that they need. Can you help me? What can we do? Yeah, the children observed abuse between dad and mom, and in most in many states, that is reportable. And many school districts have a counselor. If the school, the elementary school, doesn't have a counselor, they have a district counselor mm -hmm. that makes rounds at the schools, and maybe the nine-year-old could be that person that mm -hmm. that 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 uh, extra resource could help. Okay. I think you need to ask the principal to help you. Definitely. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. I'm going to send you a copy of Healing is a Choice and uh, Regret-Free Living, and I hope that those will be helpful to you. And uh